Hi, I'm Stephanie Strange. Want to hear something scary? Did a ghost solve a murder? Detective Joe Stachula coughed into his handkerchief as he passed the fireman. The smell of burnt wood lingered in the air. He made his way into the bedroom, his heart sinking at the sight before him. There lying motionless on the floor was the lifeless body of Teresita Bassa. She had been a well-respected respiratory therapist at Edgewater Hospital in Chicago, Illinois. Joe couldn't help shaking his head in disbelief as he assessed the destroyed apartment. Deep in his thoughts, he started to think about how burning alive is one of the most terrible ways to die. The detective made a visual sweep of the rest of the room and noticed a bloody knife on the floor in the bedroom. Covering his mouth with his sleeve, he leaned in closer to inspect the body. Then he saw it, open wounds on the chest. And that's when it hit. Teresita didn't die in the fire. She had been brutally stabbed, then hidden under the mattress. As they pieced together the events of that fateful night, it became clear that the fire had not been an accident. Rather, someone had deliberately set it in an attempt to cover up this heinous crime. The motive behind the murder, however, remained a mystery. According to her co-workers, Teresita was kind, shy, and kept to herself. She was the last person one would expect to be the victim of such a violent crime. The lack of physical evidence further complicated the case. Most of it had been destroyed by the flames, which was exactly what the killer wanted. There was no prints on the knife. The only thing of interest left among the remnants was a memo that Asita had written that read, Get their tickets for A.S. Her family and friends were questioned, but no one could help. The investigation eventually reached a dead end, and the case went cold. Five months had passed when events took an unexpected turn. The wife of another doctor from the hospital began experiencing vivid and terrifying nightmares. It was during one of these episodes that the woman, her name was Remy, spoke in her sleep. Her husband, Jose, awoke and leaned closer to hear what his wife was saying. Through anguished tears, she claimed to be Teresita. She said she had been murdered by her boyfriend, Alan Showery and that they needed to go to the police. However, when Remy awoke moments later, she had no recollection of her dream. Jose dismissed the incident, not wanting to upset his wife, and rolled back over to try to get some rest. It's just sleep talk, he thought to himself. No need to go to the police. But the following night, the voice possessed Remy once again. She questioned why he hadn't gone to the police. This time, Jose freaked out, why was she repeating this story? He woke Remy and questioned her. He wanted to know who Alan Showery was, but Remy had no recollection of her dreams. She had never met an Alan Showery, but something wasn't right. She insisted they go to the police. Detectives Tachula sat dumbfounded, taking in all the information. Remy stood to leave, presuming he thought she was crazy, but his intuition told him that she was telling the truth. The detective delved deeper into the case, investigating Alan Showery, who lived only minutes away from Teresita. When the detective questioned the suspect, he appeared to be in a happy relationship with his girlfriend, but something about him seemed off. His eyes shifting nervously whenever he was questioned. Refusing to let go of his instincts, Sachula decided to monitor the girlfriend. It was then that he noticed something very peculiar. The jewelry she wore matched that of Teresita's. This piece of the puzzle led Sachula to confront Alan Showery once again at the station. Under the weight of the evidence against him, Showery finally confessed to the heinous crime. He had been infatuated with Teresita, having met her at the hospital, consumed by rage and jealousy, and set the fire to destroy any trace of his guilt. But because he was greedy, he had stolen some of her jewelry. Now, justice was rightfully served, and Teresita could finally rest in peace. The nightmares that had plagued Remy ceased, leaving her with a sense of closure. But one thing they all knew for certain was that the dead were there, and they were watching, waiting, and they would do all they could do to avenge their wrongful deaths.